you, you've grown up here, you've lived here, and you've lived over, you know, in Europe. Like from 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 that's like an awesome perspective, right? Because we we always wonder, like I wonder the chaos, like how do our elections, particularly this election cycle, like how do people like you know, what does this look like, you know, for people abroad looking at what's unfolding here? Um, yeah, thanks for asking. I mean, I've thought about it a lot, and especially since our documentary hasn't gotten a lot of traction, um, even among like our circle of wider friends or mm -hmm. people in what we're doing, but and especially in the in the in the, in the media and both the local and the, and the more national and international European media, we haven't really been following the Bernie Sanders and his movement. There's been also a media blackout. Um, ah, that's, okay. That's, okay. That's come over. Um, um, Across across the sea. Yeah, we thought that was just here. <laughs> um, and I think that um, you know, when, when I talk to people about this project, or I talk tell even tell people I was traveling in France recently, um, mm -hmm. that I'm American, everyone just mentions Trump, right? Because Trump's just sort of the guy that everyone loves to hate. And I think that Europeans, in a lot of sense, um, are it's easy for it's easier for them to to grasp a sort of Trump candidacy because it's part of the some American myth of of this sort of extremism and, mm, okay. and it's unfortunate because I think a lot of people, if they had heard of Bernie Sanders, they weren't really interested because they probably felt that it was sort of lost from the beginning, that there's no way that America would would swing back to, to the left, to, to right. a sort of more socialist, democratic um, perspective, which is what we have in Europe. I mean, a lot of Bernie Sanders platform um, pro program is is pretty much standard fare in Europe. Right, I mean, right. I, I came to Europe. I was twenty, um, okay. and I was welcomed with open arms in Switzerland. I got free. Went to the university with free tuition. Um, they helped me pay for my health insurance, um, and and so I got this. I got a great education for mm -hmm. free. Um, and um, I mean, I, I encourage any American who. who 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 wants to take the leap over to Europe just to get to get on a plane and come and learn the languages and and and, and take advantage of at least for a couple of years they don't have to stay like mm -hmm. I did. but you know it's well, my, a, <laughs> my daughter's threatening to move <laughs> my daughter is threatening to move we all have passports yeah. so that's pretty yeah well, there might be a mass exodus if <laughs> God I know um but I think that's great that you said that that's pretty much standard fare because that was that was part of the the you know, the rhetoric here is like, oh, no, it's not as great as it seems. You know, they have that stuff in Europe, but it's this. And and that's one thing Bernie would say earlier on is like, this is like standard. You know, I'm not even what I'm saying is not even radical. This is standard in so many countries. You know, so many of our allies do this. You know, it makes no sense that they were basically the only ones who don't. Um, wow. So that's really free health care and free college. Hmm. <laughs> It's not free healthcare. I just, I was, I was, oh, okay. I just had to prove that I was a poor oh, gotcha. student. Yeah. Now I'm yeah. being, I know it was for my healthcare. Switzerland has a, has a, has a private healthcare system. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, okay. But okay. they, um, but it's mandatory for everyone. So if you don't have enough money, um, they'll pay for it for you. The government oh, will pay for it. Okay. But okay. if you are, you know, you know, working to... middle class, you, okay. have to pay, um, you have to pay for your healthcare, but it's um, universal. It's universal. Okay. Um, it's not like that in all of Europe. It's it's actually usually quite cheap. It's cheaper. Okay. But, um, no, and and I think that yeah, Sanders here in Europe would be pretty much a center left candidate. He's not okay. the extreme extremist that you know the the the, the, the U.S. media has portrayed him as, and and as um, you know, there's there's a sort of um, slander campaign, mm -hmm. and, I think, and I agree with Jill Stein. I mean. Um, that there, there was a sort of, you know, psychological warfare from the, yes. from the Democrat, Democratic National Party that, uh, against Sanders, and I think that there, the the chips were stacked against him from the beginning, mm -hmm. and that, um, it's amazing. I think as, as sort of an end of a political career, he's had an amazing political career. Um, if this is the end, I mean, he, he he he's done much more than we could ever imagine. I think he's you know really vitalized an entire an entire. Swap of the right. and um, it's a it's sort of a depressing day for a lot of Bernie Sanders um, supporters. And you know, there's stats coming out that the Guardian says that 85 percent of Sanders supporters will vote for Clinton. Who knows? You know, but um, I think that he's done an amazing thing with this with this campaign, and and, and that's why we want to film it. I think that this could really be the beginning of, of some substantial change in the states, and I think our perspective. 
coming from Europe, seeing that it's something that, you know, can be implemented. Right. Be implemented, um, you know, for the, for the betterment of, of, of the, the weakest among us. Um, that, that, they, that filming this and, and bearing witness to this movement is really what we want to do because I think in the next, you know, in, in 20, 30 years, this could be a really important document for, for, for American history. Definitely agree.